Man, great day to get started. It's just awesome to be in this environment in front of our fans, man, and officially working on football here in 2024. Um, you know, starts aren't always ideal, um, but that's like life, man. Um, Russ woke up today, man, his calf was tight. Um, it was my decision to sit him down today, create a little short-term discomfort for him, not allowing a small problem to become a bigger problem. He can be characterized as day-to-day. -day. Um, but uh, on the flip side of that, it was an awesome opportunity for Justin and a challenge for our offensive unit to deal with a little adversity at the outset. You know, we all like to start with great fluidity and clean, but man, football isn't always like that. And so really I looked at it as a good thing for a collective, a challenge for the offensive unit, a challenge and an opportunity to get to know Russ a little bit, man, create a little short-term misery for him, opportunities for others. And so that's the story there. Um, on the flip side of that, man, we just really focused on fundamental things today, um, securing the ball, searching the ball on defense, how we hustle and finish, um, our pre-snap cleanliness on both sides of the ball, fluidity on offense, pre-snap shifts and motions, being on side, on defense, things that, that'll get you beat where you beat yourself um, at the foundational stage. So just really glad to be here and be in this environment. Obviously, man, we just got a lot of work in front of us, man, but just felt like we got the train out of the station today in a pretty good fashion. I'll pause and open it up for questions. Mike, you mentioned creating short-term misery for Russell. How did he kind of take the decision? Did he want to get out here and play? Did he feel like he could? He wanted to, and he was probably capable, um, but I'm getting to know him, and I just chose to create a little misery for him in the offensive unit. How did you see Justin you know, step up with the reps that he was given today? I know it was just one practice. He was excited about the opportunity um, to lead that first group out of the huddle and and take charge today. And so we're not painting with a broad brush just yet or making too many judgments. It was a good afternoon. Mike, how key is communication in these first few days, especially with some of the roster changes you had the last? It year. is so important that we set, you know, the floor high in that area. Um, communication offensively, formally, and informally. Hadn't been around a good defense that doesn't adjust fast and communicate while doing so. And so that's, that's at the top of our list in terms of our attention uh, as we get started. Is everybody else Kind of for in the practice field, anybody else? Um, nothing else that we hadn't spoken of yesterday. Uh, Patterson and, and Lowry obviously dealing with their their uh, soft tissue injuries. Other than that, um, we'll, we'll see what, what, what this evening tells us from a availability standpoint in terms of things that may have happened in practice. Anyone else? Hey, is, uh, you're wearing white today. That seems to be a topic here. You always used to wear black. Is it, all, it, it, that it always baffles me that people pay attention to my outfit and things of that nature, it just really does. Uh, Y'all have a great day.